So Bruce did a special on SantaCon, and everybody really wanted to know what it was about. So it's Mandy, and I'm not around town. I'm on Penn Island. And me and Ted decided we're going to see what SantaCon is all about. I hope you enjoy. I'm not sure what we're in for. Just see a ghost play bell jingling, ring, jingle, jingle, ring. It's snowing and SantaCon is here. And I found the man himself, Santa. Tell us about it. Well, we're here at the poor house and it is incredible inside. Right now, this place is packed. It's for the first responders fund. So far, as I checked just now, and we're just into this, they're over $5,000 in their goal for raising money for the first responders. So this is incredible. To so we made it inside the poorhouse and I met some friends. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Tell us, what do you think about the crowd? Oh, it's great. We had a great turnout. It's yeah. awesome. We couldn't a lot of support. For the first responders. The first responders fund for Queen Anne's County. Yeah. All the money goes to the first responders, EMS, the fire department, the sheriff's department, and memory of Anthony Reno Jr. Wonderful, wonderful. So you can tell this place is packed. Good times to be had. So we make our second stop at the SantaCon. The nice thing people don't know about SantaCon is park your car and get on the bus. That's right. They have buses that go from bar to bar for your safety. At the end of the night, you just catch an Uber, hit a hotel, wake up in the morning and head home. Definitely all about the safety. So we found Brands Head, stop two, and I found their foundation. This is Carrie. Tell us a little bit about your foundation. Well, we provide scholarships to two um, Pet Island High School seniors. In addition, we provide uh, monetary support to families that are lost, have tragic loss, um, to help with things like funeral expenses. Nice. Um, it's a way to memorialize my daughter. And what was, what's the foundation name? Um, Julianne Rosella Foundation for my daughter Julianne. And where can they find out information about the foundation? Uh, we're on Facebook at Julianne Rosella Foundation and uh, we're on, we have, uh, on the web at JulianneRosella.org. Awesome. So as you can see, Ram's Head is packed to stop two now. But I mean, I found Buddy. What's up? Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Buddy the Elf, the South Pole version with the best tan. That's right, that's right. And this place is packed. It is insane right now. Santa Con is one of the best times of the year. Great charities at each different and local restaurants and bars and everything. And of course, El Jefe hosts and throws one of the best parties of the year. Stop three. Hi, this is Ted, the editor slash cameraman. Um, for some reason, the mic stopped working when we started to do an interview with the Sweet Bay Magnolia Academy. We'll put the link here in the description. We're really sorry about this. I don't know what happened. It was some sort of interference thing. Anyway, we're well, back to the show. So we made it to the fourth stop of this SantaCon. It's insane. And I have found the charity lady herself. Tell us what charity you guys are for. Uh, we're really... Um proud to have Big Bats uh, Charity's Choice as Special Olympics uh, Upper Shore. Um, we provide uh, Special Olympic services for uh, children and adults with intellectual disability. Uh, we provide it for Queen Anne's, Kent, Talbot, Caroline, and Dorchester counties. And uh, it's an amazing uh, program for our athletes and we're really proud to be here with Big Bats and everyone's been really generous. So through the whole SantaCon, I've tried to Santa out people that I know and I mean, I found Mr. Jack, one of the Queen Anne's County Commissioners. What's up? Are you loving this event or what? It is phenomenal. The, the number of people I've seen between all four places I've been to, you know, I always say Queen Anne's County has the most charitable community in the state of Maryland. I mean, there is no doubt. And this event has really showed it and showed the county. And I mean, you got four different charities we're supporting tonight. You got Juliana Rosella, Special Olympics. We got the first responders and Sweet Bay Magnolia Academy. Which I still call the McArdle School because right. that's what it was originally. <laughs> it's hard for me to get that in my head, but you know, uh, the, the 
the responsibility level. We have buses driving people around. I mean, nobody's out drinking on the roads. The food's phenomenal, and the costumes are outrageous. They so. are. I have seen some some costumes. Absolutely, absolutely. We got lumberjack Santa over here with I the mean, flashing lights. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. So. Again, it's just, uh, Queen Anne's County is just a great community. Hands down, one of the best. Absolutely, so. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas, everybody. So we have been to all the stops. We've seen Santas, elves, well, maybe Santas. I'm not quite sure. Reindeer, uh, you name it, we have seen it. Angels, there was angels in the bars. But what an amazing event. You have got to come see what SantaCon is all about. Just see the sleigh bells jingling, ring, jingle, jingle.